Be careful, very careful who you bring close to you. Because it's not everyone that calls he or herself your friend that is your true friend. Some can pretend to be your friend, but they hate you with passion. So you must be careful. Good morning, my beautiful ones. It is time for another time in the presence of God. Today, we are looking at the topic, Wash That Intimacy, Part 2. Yesterday, we looked at Part 1. Today, we are looking at Wash That Intimacy, Part 2. Our Bible passage was taken from Micah, chapter 7, 1 to 7. But we'll go straight to our memory verse. Psalm 41 verse 9, it says, Ye, mind own family, family friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, had lifted up his heels against me. Praise the Lord. Aradin the Lord said that today he wants to share with us a secret that took many great men and women a long time and a lot of pain to learn. And what is that secret? It is that, mo it, it, it is that which you must be very careful about. So he said, you must be very careful about who you bring close to you. Be very careful about those that you call friends. Some are what you call fair, wear, fair weather friends. When things, when they go in, is good and all right. You know, they rejoice with you, they move with you, they parley with you. But when there is a slight misfortune, they abandon you, they leave you stranded. That is not what friends are. So you describe such a person as, oh, my intimate friend, my bosom friend. Your bosom friend, your close friend, should be with you in thick and in thin. When you rejoice, he rejoices with you full heartedly. When you weep, he weeps with you from his heart, not pretended ones. Other than the Lord is telling us about a so-called friend. But before we go that, let's still talk about how you should relate to people. You must be very careful who you share information with. Because the information that you have given out can never be retrieved. You cannot go to the person's memory to wipe it away. You cannot even determine what the person will use the information to do. So you have to know who is your friend. What exactly do you share with such friends? I think the Lord reminded us and told us the story of when he got to redeem Christian Church of God, when he joined the mission newly. He said that he became friends with two brothers. They became very close friends. He said one day God revealed to him that one of them is not a real friend, but a wolf in sheep's clothing. And then the Lord said that he confronted him with what the Lord told him. He strongly denied being a fake friend to him. He said a few years later, that was when he was made general overseer. So, he came and he was going to discuss the issue of becoming general overseer with that friend. So, when he started talking, that was when the friend opened up and told him that 
he had hated him from the day he came into the church. You can imagine somebody eating, whining, and dining with you from the beginning that you came to a particular church, and yet that person hated you. Is that not the dangerous one? That's why the Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can tell it? It's even better if the person never liked you. And you know, it is obvious. The person made it clear from the beginning, I don't like your face. I don't know why. It is better. That's why I like people who can say their mind than those who will be smiling with you. Hey, hey. And yet, you don't know what they have in mind for you. So he told that he, that in the Lord that he has hated him right from the beginning, right from the time he came into the church. So many of friends, we have similar friends like that, similar people who have betrayed us. But unfortunately, not everyone learns from their experiences. You need to learn. Learn from your own experience. Learn from other people's experiences too. You gather experiences and you use it to stand firm. Your real friends are those who are happy when you are happy and sad when you are sad. When the soldiers came to arrest the Lord Jesus Christ, we saw what happened. Peter was ready to face them. Imagine one person facing how many people with weapons and so on. But that is what a true friend does. A true friend will not have time to calculate the consequences of the action that he wants to take before taking them. But reverse was the case of Judas. When Mary Mandaline was worshipping Christ, as, you know, showing who he is, washing his feet with her tears, cleaning them with her hair, and anointing it with very expensive and precious oil, Judas was busy complaining. Judas complained. And also, Judas was still the one who went to betray and sell our Lord Jesus Christ for money. That is not the sign of a true friend. So, a true friend you need to wash out for these things over a long period of time with the help of the Holy Spirit to shift out, sieve out who your true friends are. We're talking about friends. This also happened to people living in marriage. And that is the reason why we must Continue to pray this prayer. If you have not started, start it today. Pray this prayer for your children. Pray that your children will not marry their enemy. Be it a male, be it a female. Pray for them that they will not marry their enemy. If you marry your enemies, you are finished. It is only the grace of God that can save you. After multitude of sorrows. So do everything to sieve out sieve out true friends from fake ones sieve out true sheep from wolves in sheep clothing it is my prayer my youtube family that none of you will fall victims to such in the mighty name of jesus praise the lord before i continue i want to wish every one of you happy new month once again, I don't know whether I wished you yesterday, but today, I wish you happy new month. May the Lord bless this month and project it with progress and successes in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our key point is be careful who you bring close to you. You must be careful. They say that a... a, a a hen will stand with one leg when he comes to a new place before she start mastering things and now put down the second leg. So 
when you come to a place where you meet people don't assume that anybody you meet is your friend you must prayerfully pick your friends and the almighty god will help you in jesus name amen our hymn for today is hymn 11 i found a friend in jesus i found a friend in jesus we have our lord jesus christ is our friend a friend that died for us he died for his friends praise the lord hallelujah i want to appreciate all my returning subscribers for those who keep checking into my channels i appreciate you i appreciate you great deal may the good lord bless you mightily in jesus name i also appreciate all my new subscribers all those visiting my channel for the first time i appreciate every one of you do subscribe to my channel if you've not give me a like if you like this video watch that intimacy part two and the good lord will bless you richly thank you it is bye from me